I, as I promised, I will uh, make another test. This time I modified the, the connecting system. So I put a lever here. You see the spring and uh, the thruster. The first room is connected to the this lever. So in this way I will measure the thrust. Now open up the scale. What I want to show you is that now I have some oscillation because I just moved the, the cone. So I should wait a little bit. If I move around, it will uh, make some uh, small changes. But it's around zero. So if I put this, this has around 3.6 gram. So I put here. Because of the lever, I have different uh, reading. You see now it's 10 grams. So I'll remove. It's again uh, close to zero. I put again. 10 grams again. And uh, now, let's measure just this. I'll remove the scale. Stop. Start. Now, put this. So it's 3.6 gram for repeatability. So uh, the ratio is around uh, 1 to 2.5, the weight, if you calculate. I didn't calculate, but it should be around this. So if I have here 1 gram of thrust, you divide that by 2.5 and you'll have the correct thrust right now. But uh, I didn't modify anything, so in the future I will put the PCB here and the screw to adjust the dimension of the cone. But I'm good because uh, now I have some trust, so I can um, continue with this way, in this way, to make some further tests. Bye. You see one point and it's dropping a little bit. Stop. Again. You see now this is minus. It's dropping. Maybe when it's hitting, the power is dropping. Thank <laughs> you.
this is the setup. I put this as a radio shield because uh, the scale can have uh, some misreading, bad readings. <laughs> 